Good morning, beautiful people, beautiful people. Know that today, if you are alive, you are blessed. Know that today, if you are alive, then you have purpose. Know that today, if you are alive, you are worthy. And I just hope that you get up being so grateful knowing that god is so good and he loves you so much and there's nothing he wouldn't do for you he will stop the earth for you he will give his life for you he will send his son for you he will leave the 99 to come save you god loves you so 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 very much and i need you to know that with every inch every fiber in your being know that you are so so loved um i don't know i woke up this morning and my throat is kind of acting up a little bit but it's all good um but um i just want to read you guys another excerpt from my um from one of my journals let me turn down the music a little bit but this song is perfect because I do got so much to thank God for. God is so good. He is my keeper. He is my protector. He hides me in the secret place of the most high. He, you know, is my shield, my rock, and my defense. And so I have to wake up every morning and just be so grateful that he is so, so good. He is so good to me, so good to me, so good to me. I can't thank him enough. But... Yes, this um excerpt is from February 25th, 2019, um, and it's from Psalms 91, verses 1 through 16, and I'm going to be reading, I think I just mentioned this um scripture earlier too, but it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor the destruction that wasteth at noonday because thou has made the lord which is my refuge even the most high thy habitation there shall no evil befall thee neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways they shall bear thee up in their hands lest thou dash thy feet against a stone Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shall thou triumph and shall shall thou trample under the feet, because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. Mm. He shall call upon me and I will answer him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him with long life will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. A thousand shall fall at thy side and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it, is, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. And so this just caused me to write, I think, in 2019. I don't remember what I was going through, so let's see what I wrote. Um, it said... Lord, it is my desire to dwell under your shadow. Actually, I do remember what I was going through now that I think about it, but that's not. <laughs> Lord, it is my desire to dwell under your shadow. It is my desire to trust you completely, to have no fear and no doubt in my mind that you will be with me in times of trouble. I want to have complete faith and confidence in you. Even when I feel alone, help me to remind myself of your loyalty through reading of your word. When I feel discouraged, help me to come back to scriptures like this to strengthen me in times of need. 
Help me to be an encouragement to others by pointing them to you, pointing them to your word in their times of need. Help me to live a life that is pleasing in your sight. Help me to earnestly seek you in times of trouble and in times of rich and great blessings. Help me to praise you and to remain constant regardless of my, situ my situation. Help me to discern your voice and listen when you call. Let the only answer you hear from me be yes, because I know that your plans for me are good and better than any I could think of on my own. As life progresses, when the husband, the kids, the career, the fulfillment of dreams come, help me to remember that you are the giver of my blessings. Let those things or the blessings not be a distraction to me, but let them be my reason for praise. Above all else, let my soul's salvation be my number one priority in this life. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for coming to seek me when I was lost. I am forever forever grateful amen and i truly am forever grateful to the lord for all that he has done for me thus far and all that he is doing and all that he will do and i'm truly thankful and grateful for his guidance and protection over my life his hand has been over my life from the moment i was born up until now and i even when i didn't see it now looking back i i can realize and i can see that god has truly protected me and he has pro provided a covering over me and continues to provide a covering over me so that all of the attacks of the enemy never prosper against me and that all of the you know workers of iniquity all their tactics it never prospers against me and it's only the plans of God that prevail over my life many other plans in a man's heart but only the plans of God prospers and prevails and his word over my life will not return unto him void so all the blessings that he has spoken unto me or over me are predestined preordained over my life i know that it will come to pass i know that there is nothing 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 that can keep me from the love of god and i know that every good gift that i have is from God and so I will use it to serve him I will try my best to walk in obedience and alignment to his word to his will and to his way and I will do my best my uttermost best my uttermost God-given ability to let the world know that God is good that Jesus saves his blood has torn the veil his blood has defeated death in the grave and we have access to God to gain success to establish ourselves here on this earth and to serve and praise God and to make it into the kingdom and to establish a kingdom here on this earth. So let us let us continue in alignment to the will of God. Let us do the things that he has asked us to do. Let us be earnest and authentic in praise. Let us pray and seek God. Let us Ask him for the fruits of the spirit and let us daily, daily, daily be grateful and be thankful and not complain, but just be grateful for God is good even when life isn't. And when life is, he is even better. Okay? Have a good and blessed day, you all. Know that I love you all and God loves you so much more so much more so much more stay in his presence stay in his presence